I did this when I was a kid. I used to make these little Super 8 films and project them onto the clouds for my friends. I'm going back out in the streets and I'm gonna project something else. I'm taking a very old recording and projecting it onto buildings that in 1965 would have been burned down. So it's like recalling like the spirit of that place. At the same time, kind of inserting another history on top of it. After the 1965 Watts riot, the governor commissioned what we call the McCone Report to figure out what happened. Part of the report was a map with dots. Green dots for burned out buildings, blue dots for looted stores, red dots for death. They reminded me of markings on the doors of homes in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. Hot spots on the landscape that tried to flatten that pain into data so that it could be understood. The map was the beginning of the show. That's how I got to the video. And it was the first layer of paper on the painting. When I'm making a body of work, I, I, I kind of go in and I kind of have developed a style. But if you've been making bodies of work long enough, somewhere along the line, you'll get these little small shifts and things. They're incremental, you can't even tell. Halfway through making the work for the show, I decided that I wasn't gonna use the hotspots anymore. When I pulled all the hotspots off, there were things left. And almost like when I removed the, the kind of grids and the architectures, I, it almost felt more um, botanical. It felt like the urban grid gave way to almost like an urban jungle in a way. The land took back the city, half temple, half nature reclaiming it, half civilization. The, the shapes are laying on top more instead of me trying to erase everything on the surface. The name of the show is Severus. And in Greek mythology, Severus is a three-headed dog that guards the gates of hell. For me, Severus is the modern-day gatekeeper. He's the border walker, power broker. You know, the funny thing is, when I first started reading Greek mythology, it took me, it took me <laughs> years as a kid to realize this whole thing was based on imagination. I thought, you know, uh, Severus was a, a real god. I was like, oh, that's amazing. How'd they know that? What could I tell Severus? You think I get a day pass, hall pass? Get out for an hour. I wanted to, well, hey, here's the thing. Seven, what side are we on? <laughs> are we in or are we out?